good afternoon anna so today we are going to discuss one more sum in that we are going to calculate average velocity average velocity why i am saying average velocity can't i say average distance average speed because when a object is moving in a straight line we need to say that is moving with respect to time no if it is in a straight line we need to use velocity because the straight line is a displacement because the straight line is a displacement along the displacement we will have velocity only in this problem in this problem the journey distance divided into two halves during the first half of the distance the velocity or speed of the moving object is a v is a v v and the time taken to cross that half of the distance is t1 is a t1 then our equation is there no displacement is equal to velocity into time that can be written like this s by 2 distance is equal to velocity into time v into time t1 implies t1 t1 equal to this v will come on left hand side and it will becomes like this t1 equal to s by 2v s by 2v this is what happened during the first half of the journey we got a time for half of the journey and what about the second half of the journey during the second half of the journey its velocity changes from v1 to v2 because it travels with the two velocities one is v1 and another one is v2 there the average velocity is taken as look for second half of the journey the distance the distance covered with this average velocity the distance covered with this average velocity and that when we calculated the distance s by 2 is equal to v average into t2 what is the average velocity here is v1 plus v2 by 2 sum of the velocities divided by 2 during the second half of the journey it travels with velocities v1 and v2 during the second half of the journey average velocity average velocity v average is equal to v1 plus v2 divided by 2 with this average velocity it travels for t2 time it travel for t2 time then the distance the distance s by 2 is equal to v average into t2 as we done in previous case from this equation we got a t1 as a subject of the formula here also we will get a t2 as a subject of the formula by bringing this average velocity here Look, s by 2 is a numerator and v average in denominator. Observe here, t2 is equal to s by 2 is in numerator and v average is in denominator. So s by 2 can be written like this: v average. What we got in previous term, v average is equal to v1 plus v2 by 2, v1 plus v2 by 2. And this will can this can write like this: 2 by v1 v2 is 2 and this 2 will get cancelled. And you will get s by v1 plus v2. This is about time in second half of the journey. In second half of the journey. Now our v average is equal to total distance by total time. Total distance is equal to s. Total time is equal to t1 plus t2. What is t1 here? S by 2v plus s by v1 plus v2. Here you can take s as a common. S as a common here. From these two terms, you can bring it out like this. And this s is here. In our next step, yes, yes will get cancelled. Now this simplification is there. We will do that. Go through this once. Write and note it down. look at this we got v average here v1 2v into v1 plus v2 is taken as lcm then your remaining terms your remaining terms will be like this v1 plus v2 plus 2v 
This is a simple calculation. LCM. By doing LCM, you will get just a reciprocal of this one is this one. This will come into the denominator, and this whole thing will be in denominator. Just to go through it. Okay. If you have any doubts, please you can send me message, sir. How we got this? Um, by sending a screenshot, you can ask me doubt, sir. How we got this? Then I will explain it very clearly. Okay. We will go for next one. So in our next sum, that is the sixth sum, he given that a body is in <coughs> uniform motion and it travels a distance. Yes, nth. That means in nth second during nth second, not n seconds. Nth second. That means uh, yes, nth is equal to u plus a into n minus half. This is a equation for a motion of the object, the journey distance in nth second. That is yes, nth is equal to u plus a into n minus half. That is what I given. Yes, nth is equal to u plus a into n minus half. What is given? What is given in your problem? S n is equal to 9.8 plus 0.4 into n. This is considered as an equation 1. Now, how this equation can be transferred? Transform. And then, what kind of form do you see? It will change from one form to another form by doing some simple calculations. Look how hard I am doing here. U plus U plus A n minus A n. How you got? Multiply this A into n. A n minus A n. A into 1 by 2 A by 2. So our equation can be changes. This equation can be written like this: U plus A n minus A by 2 minus A by 2. Here U minus A by 2 is a one term that I have written here. Plus A n is another term. Now this can be taken as equation number two. Can compare these two. Just observe these two. N N coefficient of N. Coefficient of u. This whole term 9.8. I hope you understand. Just a comparison method. Comparison method. What is that? N, N. Similar terms. 0.4 is a coefficient of n. Here also a is equal to coefficient of n. And this whole 9.8 is equal to u minus a by 2. Look, a instead of a, what is present here? 0.4. So coefficient of n is a acceleration. That acceleration is equal to 0.4. That is what I mean. A is equal to 0.4 meter per second square. We got acceleration. Now we need to go for velocity. Now the second term is equal to 9.8. From 1 and 2, the second term is equal to 9.8. U minus A by 2 is equal to 9.8. What is A? A previously we got 0.4. 0.4 divided by 2. U minus 0.4 divided by 2 is equal to 9.8. Let here. U minus 0.4 divided by 2 by cancelling these two. 2 ones, 0.22 is 4. So 0.2 you will get. That is what. U minus 0.2 is equal to 9.8. U is equal to 9.8 plus minus 0.2 will, 0 will go there and it will become as plus 0.2. Then your velocity U is equal to 10 meter per second. 10 meter per second. This is about two problems. Today's problems. Two only. So I hope you all are doing that. I'll call you later. Whether you are doing it or not, I will enjoy. In our next video, I will tell a small concept to you all. Press note in this. Note this. Everyone. Pass this and notice, okay?